Hey guys, um, welcome. Uh, as per promise, we're not going to parameterize. We're gonna switch to polar coordinates. Uh, remember that z and polar coordinates can be written as r e to the i theta, um, but um, r is one here, so z is simply e to the i theta. Now, uh, with this z, z bar is then uh, equal to e to the you can think about it, but it's e to the negative i theta, right? Okay, cool. Um, and dz, uh, furthermore, is equal to i e to the i theta d theta. And now we've got everything we need. So um, we say that our uh, integral now uh, is uh, going from... Uh, theta goes from 0 to 2 pi. So from 0 to 2 pi of z bar is um, right here, e to the negative i theta. So we've got e to the negative i theta uh, and then times uh, dz, which is right here, uh, which is i times um, e to the i theta d theta. And I'll write the i right here. Uh, better yet in front of the integral but we'll do that in the next step but yeah that's that uh, that is that and then we still need to write e to the i theta d theta how convenient because by exponent rules these two say e to the zero which is one so we've got taking the i out in front of sounds horrible um, zero to two pi um, and then it's d theta, which is 2 pi i. Yeah? And our answer is consistent with uh, the answer we found um, in part 5, as should be. All right. Um, keep watching.